So, hi, I'm here with another video log, and this month decided to talk about Angels in America, our upper school drama performance that really just completed a few days ago. And I'm here with three stars of the show, and wanted to give people who are interested in this topic, people who are reading my letter, some chance of um, learning a little bit more about what it was like to be in the production. So I wanted to ask uh, the big question, which was, what did you learn? What did you learn from this experience of being in Angels in America? Who wants to, who wants to take that? <laughs> I'll take it. Um, I think it was, okay, the biggest thing we learned, I think, is how much we could tackle as high school students. Because we read the play junior year, and I know when I heard the play that was picked, it was like Angels in America, how is this gonna happen? There's so many, like, there's so much mature content in the play, and I wasn't sure how we would balance that and do the play justice, but Terry was amazing, and she guided us in the right direction, and seeing the finished product, or being able to be a part of the finished product was crazy, and just, knowing, wow, we really can do this, and it, we can reach levels that maybe we didn't feel were possible. Yeah, and also just learning how much like, something like this can affect a community and can affect people. Um, I knew it was an important play, but I didn't know how important it was, like, sort of on a personal level to so many people. Like, there are so many people who were just so moved by seeing it, how do you know that? Did people say? Yeah, yeah. Tears. Also. Yeah, yeah. A lot of tears. During the play, afterwards. Both. Fall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think uh, one thing that is important in this day and age of like movies and kind of you know mainstream culture is to get back to you know live theater. And I think doing a play as iconic and as prolific as Angels in America is really important to get our community. You know, engaged in theater and not just, you know, kind of step away from, you know, movies or, you know, pop culture. So you're, you're coming at it both from the sense of the importance of engaging in theater in live productions, whether mm -hmm. it's music, whether it's drama, whether it's stage readings, but also the sense that the content had a particular impact on our community. Yes. Do you think that there's something about our community school without a Quaker dimension and a school without as tight knit a community as we have? How, how do you think how do you think that was different than what you might have expected? Well I think in terms of the tight knit community, just the fact that so many people came. Like mm -hmm. kid like friends I have who play sports all year like don't would never take a drama class but they still came and were still like sometimes even surprised at how moved they were by the show, um, and just the support from the community was amazing mm -hmm. throughout the entire process, and especially after the performances. And I think because of the controversial nature of the show, I think it's it's important for a, a lot of people to come. And I think it's, it shows a lot about Friends Central as a school that so many people came, regardless of you know the content of the play or the maturity of the play. You know, we, we accept everyone, we invite everyone, and, and almost everyone came. Did, Did you? <laughs> do you think that, um, do you think that the community was surprised by the community's reaction? Do you think, this is maybe an unfair question, but I asked about what you learned. Do you think the community learned anything about itself as, a, as, a, as either a school community or as either Part of our school. I think it was less of a learning experience and more of a reassurance, mm -hmm. which was great because I've always thought of a friend central as this accepting place, and the fact that the community was so accepting of this production was just a reassurance of that. So, in one sense, you what you learned was something that you think you already knew, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which was we're a place that's living out. It's testimonies, as it's living out its aspirations. So where do you guys go from here? How do you not kind of have the 
this giant, giant letdown. Do you have a Do you have a sense of, of what's next or what could move you? How you could keep learning as actors? <laughs> Too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I think what's interesting about doing a play like Angels in America and then following it up with a play of Cinderella the musical, I think what's really important there is the, it's, they are two very different animals. Like, Angels in America is a very mature, very serious, very, you know, strong, messaged play. Cinderella is um, playful, more like, I'm not going to say like relaxed, but I mean it has more of that feel to it. So I think... Um, what we've done with Angels in America is great, but I think now we need to kind of focus on the more playful aspect of theater and more, you know, engaging with the audience and more, you know, the funness of it. Sounds like you're aware of the balance of how we choose what to put on. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I said this in like a pep talk before the Friday night show, but I said that um, people need to, needed to see this show, but it's not something that they just come to on a whim. It's not something that they should see, but it's an important thing that people saw this. And I think that the entire cast kind of felt a sense of responsibility putting on this show, that we were responsible for sharing this message that the show had. And I think that's going to be different for Cinderella because, I mean, it'll be great, but it's not the same in any way. <laughs> so what do you imagine changed in some are so diverse within the play that you kind of don't have a choice as to whether or not you're going to be able to connect with someone. There's always going to be something or some aspect of one character that you're going to say, oh, I can relate to this. Yeah. And that's the great thing about Angels in America is it finds a way to connect with everyone, so you can't leave the theater not feeling affected by it. Were you aware that we were the first high school Terry yeah, Terry awesome. informed us that <laughs> pretty quickly after she announced the play. And did that feel liberating, exhilarating, like pressure, like you were pioneers pushing an envelope? What, what, what was that as actors? What did that, what did that knowledge do to you? I think it added a whole new layer of excitement, kind of, because like, you know, usually if you if you can like if you YouTube a play or like a scene from a play, you know, sometimes high school shows pop up, sometimes. You know, professional shows pop up, but if you if you YouTube Angels in America, like there's gonna be no it's like Al Pacino. other yeah, you'll yeah. see Al Pacino, Parker, uh, and you won't see any high school kids. So I think it's very it's very very awesome that we were the first school to to do this. Are we gonna be on YouTube? Like if you, you I, I don't know. <laughs> I yeah I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. If we, I don't know if they posted to YouTube. But yeah. I hope they do. Huh. I think my favorite reaction. Someone said it doesn't surprise me that Prince Central. Is the first high school to do this play, and I kind of thought about it. I was like, yeah, like, it would be us. Okay. It's actually would be the first one. So I want to press you on the community thing. Uh, you know that I had, I was in dialogue with a few members of our community, which I was really pleased with around the show and why we could choose it. And one point of view that, that for me was really compelling was that my family chose Friends Central to be included and to be a part of I would say that, I mean, I, obviously I respect the decision, it's your kid, you can choose, but I think in a community like Friends Central, we are so 
aware at such a young age or grade level about what the play is about. And I think we we are taught early on to you know accept and that it is a part of it is a part of the world. And you know, Friends Central is a preparatory school, so it prepares us for the world. So I think, um, although yeah, I mean yes, there's foul language and there's intense themes, but I think our school has done well to prepare us for it. So I think, I think in a sense, we're ready to see it. So I'm also thinking about the teachers you've had at Friends Central. You are accustomed to a certain kind of relationship and, and a certain excellence as it relates to what you would learn from that teacher. But I'm wondering how Terry Gary surprised you in this play, perhaps in something you learned from her, perhaps in something you learned about her. Um, it seems like a right time now that the play's a few days in your rearview mirror to think about your teacher and maybe what you learned or what you learned about your teacher. Well, I mean, I know, I know this play had a pretty significant impact on Terry because her son is uh, out gay, um, and I think it's it's very easy to to kind of I don't know it's very easy to to kind of like pr perform a play like for the audience, but like to to have in the back of your mind that our director's son relates so highly to this play, I think it, it adds a, another level of, you know, performance of it and energy to it. Yeah, and just, just the way that, like, the, the way that she could have such a strong reaction to this play and still sort of give us so much free reign to make creative choices, I wouldn't say it surprised me so much, because, like, I'd expect that from her, but it impressed me, I think, um, just how, I don't even, just like how great she was throughout the whole process. Like, it was never not fun, and at the same time, we were learning so much from her and moving forward and making so much progress. What's an example of a creative choice? That well, she just like character she... choices, just, um, I mean, there were a few times when, like, we would say a line a certain way, and she'd say, is, do you have a reason for saying that? We'd explain it, and she'd be like, I don't necessarily agree with that, but if that's what you think, then that's right. If that's the way you're playing this character, that's right. And, um, yeah, that, the fact that she was able to do that, I think, is really cool. Were any of you aware that the audience might than an audience for Cinderella, for instance, either in terms of what they were expecting, in terms of an, an edginess, maybe around the content and material. We're, we're, when you're here, I mean, this is the stage that, that you guys were on, and now we're looking out at an empty theater, but there were several hundred people here. Did, were you picking up on that as... Well, thankfully, you can't see the people that well. <laughs> yeah. The lights are... Yeah. The, lights, see, like, the, first the lights blind you. Like, the lights blind you. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it, it, I think it's, you can feel the energy is what it really comes down to. And, and it's different for every night, but there's, when the audience has energy, you feed off of that and you use that. And it just feels great. That's like the reason you act, at least for me. I also think like the week before perform production week, uh, we, we were just constantly running the play over and over and in this in on the stage with no one here and I think there got a point there got we got to a point where we said we we accepted like okay we know we're great but now we need an audience to see it like the we it felt kind of like all right we're done rehearsing now we need to start you know performing bring it, bring it on yeah bring it on exactly so I think I think it's important like the difference between an empty room and several hundred people what you brought to our school um, is something that is unique in my experience in working in schools. You brought a level of consciousness and a, a level of an empathy to, um, to a piece of art that was an incredible gift to everyone. I wanted to take a moment to 
say thank you. Thank you for all your effort. Thank you for the, the expertise and the passion you brought to it. Thank you for sticking with it when maybe you thought to yourself, I don't know if this was your <laughs> mindset. What am I doing? This, yeah. is, this is crazy. But it was an incredible gift to our whole school.